Hello everyone, today we're going to be creating wounds for um, Halloween or any other sort of time you need to use them. Um, we're going to be using Diamond FX White, um, Chameleon Black, Velvet Black, um, Chameleon Blood Red and a stipple sponge, a mark read number one, two and a mark read number four. I will list those products down below. Um, so what I'm going to start off by doing is loading up my mark read number four with um, chameleon blood red. So what you're going to do, you're going to do like a tiger stripe sort of style. So um, I'm going to go from thin to thick to thin. Okay, like that. Then you can load up some black on the same brush, and you're going to sort of do the same like um, line, like that, just to sort of make it look like the cut is open. And you won't be able to see it on camera, but if you load up the red again and just go over the black a little bit in the middle, it sort of just makes it start looking like a bit, um, like a dried blood colour. And then you're going to load up your stipple sponge with the chameleon red. And you're going to pounce it along the design, like that just to make it look a bit sore okay so that's like the wound so you can do wounds like that if you want to sort of make it look like a wound with stitches load up the mark read number two with white I'm just doing that now I'm just going to put like a line like going in different directions so I've crossed one over there as well You want them to be really white, just to make it look a bit more effective. Okay, there's my stitches. Rinse that brush out, load up some black again. And you're just going to do like C shapes on both sides. Just to make it look like there's something holding the stitches down. Like that. So you can leave it just like that. That's like one of the easiest wounds I do. It's so quick and effective. So it looks really cool. Um, there's not much else I would really add to this apart from the fact you can add like um, dripping blood, you can add, you know, like you can get a like, Krylon or Grimace um, liquid blood, you can just trickle that down, sort of coming down the edges or whatever way you do your cut, either if it's on the face or the arms. Um, so I do that. Um, you can do the same sort of thing for like cut, um, no, not cuts. Like scratches, so if I just load up, if I just get like some of this chameleon blood red on my Mark, um, Mark Reed brush, so you can sort of do like a really thin line, just like a couple, 
Okay. Same thing, get the stipple sponge. Just make it look quite sore like that. Put a bit of black down the middle. So that could be scratches. They're really simple, but it looks quite cool. Like kids love it, and even adults. Like when I do like adult parties, and they just want like gory sort of stuff. Um, another thing you can create is like a bullet wound. So I'm just going to load up. I'm using the Mark Reed number four. Just loading up the blood red. So if I do it about there, do the circle. it is a circle I think it is do it as big as you want to do it but don't make it massive it doesn't look real load up the brush with black to give that sense that it's sort of hollow there get the stickle sponge load up the blood red focus there you go sort of just pounce it along the sides and because the black's still quite wet um it looks looks better because it starts going like dark you get these dark patches in there and it sort of looks um real you can you can just like add these um, little flicks coming out of the wound. So it looks like a bullet wound. You can create any sort of shapes and sizes with like the wound. You can do anything you like. You can, I don't know. I don't know what else I could show you for wounds. Um, these are really simple, free things. So you've got like the stitches and a wound. You've got scratches. You've got like a bullet hole there um, what else could there be you've sort of seen four things really because here you can do the same thing without the stitches you can um, you can do the same thing like this you can even add if you want to do like the whole latex thing you can do that but these are the simple things that I'm doing um, and that's about it really that's it for wounds that I want to show you for now um, until I get all my special effects the special effects out um, until then sorry I got a bit of a cold and it's sort of affecting how I'm talking so it's a bit weird um, yeah so that's my tutorial there I hope it helps you so please rate comment and subscribe um, so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye